Hi, I'm James from Golden Shiny Trading, the professional China product sourcing agent in Yiwu City, China. Now today we're going to load a 140 feet container. Container loading is one part of our one-stop sourcing service. Other than container loading, our one-stop sourcing service includes output pickup, your market guide, order tracking, quality control, warehouse facility, container loading, custom declaration, and shipping. Now our one-stop sourcing service will make you import from China easier and simpler. So as you can see, our loading labor already started loading. 140 feet container has 60, 80 CBM. We're gonna load more products in our warehouse to this container today and ship to customers. Those products are purchased from the EU market before Chinese New Year. And today, finally, we got the container and we start loading. So follow me, I will walk you through the whole procedure one step by one step in here. We have three loading labor for this 40 feet container. One labor will stay inside the container. Other two labor will stay outside and continue taking the cargo from our warehouse. The main products we purchased for this customer are home furniture, home decoration products. So as the usual, the loading labor inside the container will organize all the carton boxes, packages inside a container. And all the two loading labor will take products from this warehouse and put it here. Then the next job is this guy. To take it inside and organize every carton box one by one very neatly, very clearly. This is our warehouse. We have uh, products for four different customers so far. And this container customer almost occupied 60% of our warehouse. So as I told you before in previous video, if you pay attention to my YouTube channel, every carton we have a shipping mark, unique shipping mark like this is GSBTDO. So one by one take like this. Yeah, we need to pour it one by one. Uh, by the way, we don't leave any space between packages. In that way, we could save more cost and put more carton boxes. Because after all, whether loaded this container full or not, customer will pay the shipping charge for whole container. This is the other customer, a lot of you. This is a storage shelf product. Purchase those uh, carton boxes. Shipping mark 30 carton boxes. This is the 19th supplier. We have a lot of suppliers in one container. Under normal circumstances, Figure of speech, one container is like one supermarket. It includes big variety of products. My colleague Casey and this is warehouse manager is monitoring everything. If I'm not here today and he will monitor everything, every situation about this container and all products or packages and cotton boxes. So in this way, we make sure there is no mistake. What is mistake? That means we take run cotton boxes to this container which don't belong to this customer it is very important for us to do that because we had this mistake before one cotton box belongs to singaporean customer but we ship to usa so we have to refund the customer this is big pain we're not gonna make that mistake again this one is a washing machine the mini washing machine once we finish this area then we will keep Loading this area, one area by one area. Well, still storage shelves. Yeah, they were stacked like this, one by one, one by one. All right, next we're gonna clear this area out. Put all those cotton boxes into this container. This is a storage box. We total purchased uh, 15 cotton boxes for this. One guy still inside of here to organize all carton boxes. The two guys responsible for taking and assorting all those carton boxes, mixed carton boxes, mixed packages from this area. Yeah, all this area clear out. Same storage box. Those are different designs for storage box. You see the carton boxes, the package is not a square. Yeah, put it gently here. This one is the chairs. We have around 10 cotton boxes. For products like this, we need to put it slowly. This is table. So table and the chairs, they are one set, packed separately. Chairs again. 
except those and also we're gonna load these all right we'll start loading this this is another small mini design storage for the axe Here, another one so we're gonna take around one and a half an hour to finish this 40 haiku container three labors so we're gonna finish it very fast uh, in the meanwhile we're not gonna put a wrong cotton box also the new arrival products arrive we need to check here so this is not belongs to this customer this is for a lot of the customer we almost clear this area out those small cotton boxes for egg storage then we will switch to this place yeah that's what we wanted this one now we already finished one third container like i said very fast all right this uh, space is empty already right. cleared out and we're gonna move to this area to load all these almost all these uh, cotton boxes and packages to this 40 fit IQ container this is the convenient letters we purchased uh, 28 cotton boxes we're gonna put this to the container yeah start loading so no mistake shipping mark yes correct loading 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 bro cases here will make sure we don't take a run cotton boxes which not belong to this customer almost half container is loaded yeah exactly those cotton boxes almost finished the ladders the chairs the mini desks this is the design number this is the desk you can see install instruction here we have mixed colors for those so this is the shipping mark gs means golden shiny bt means baton this country do is short name for customer's name the 41 means the 41 supplier we have more than 50 suppliers for this customer 5 CTM means 5 cotton boxes for this design the children's cartoon so our warehouse is half empty almost those products already loaded to the container and next I will go inside the container to check out everything is okay or not so let's go so I'm already inside the container you can check we finished loading half container now keep loading and filling the rest half container with all those products so for 140 high to container like this it's gonna take around one half an hour to finish all so like i said one guy is staying in this container the other two guys continue taking the cargo from our warehouse to load this container when we do loading container the three working labor walk to each other like this one thing i never get tired of inside in this is we need to leave the space between cotton boxes as zero in this way we can load more and more cotton boxes in one container because the more cotton boxes we load it the less cost customers will get it now let me give one example if one body big container can load 500 cotton boxes the customers pay the shipping container for those five cotton boxes for this container however if you only load 400 cotton boxes well the customers still need to pay the shipping charge for this whole container so would you use the shipping charge for 500 cotton boxes or 400 cotton boxes it is so obvious to you right so the one is we need to load tight leave no space between cotton boxes second is we need to pay attention to those the fragile items we cannot randomly throw here or there we need to organize prepare and leave the space like that when it comes to the heavy cotton boxes we usually put the bottom the lighter will be on the top of those cotton boxes so when i go inside the container those are two things i will first pay attention one is whether there is space between the cotton boxes or not second is heavy cotton boxes and the light cotton boxes are loaded properly or not so as a professional china product sourcing agent sourcing is just the one part of our one-stop sourcing service other than that we also have service like elbow pickup you market guide order checking quality control warehouse facility container loading custom declaration and shipping so you see what i'm talking about all right we almost finished this area also after we finish this area, there is last area inside here. Then we finish this container. So the rest like those are for next container. So the rest of goods here. Now this is uh, to Brazil. This is to Brazil too. 
This is for Latvia in Europe. This is for Grenada in South America. 10 cotton boxes. We keep collecting this customer's products every day, every week. This is for Bataan, another customer, not for this container customer. Although they are from the same country, from Bataan. Although those two customers are both from Bataan. You see the shipping mark? GSBTTS. This customer's store name, short code, is TS. And this Bataan customer, his shipping mark is GS, still same, BT same, DO. Short code name for this customer is DO. Okay, so they are different customers from the same country, Bataan. We're gonna ship this container to Bataan via Kokta Seaport, the discharge port. So this area finished, we have a little more from there and from there. So those cotton boxes outside warehouse are the last ones we're gonna load to this container nearby the container door. Also those cotton boxes and those ones. Now those two parts we're gonna load to this container. Yo, those are pretty heavy. One package has 50 kgs. Need two labor to put in the container. All right, we're almost done. We still have a few dozen cotton boxes to fill that space. After that, the whole container finished. Now those are the trash. Bing. 50 cotton boxes for those. We finished this. Container completely finished loading. Yeah, we start loading this. One design for this trash bin. So last ones are those ones. All right, this is pretty much about this video. If you like our content, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. In that way, you could get the latest notification once we release new videos about our one-stop sourcing service. As a professional China product sourcing agent, our one-stop sourcing service will make you import from China easier and simpler. All right, thank you for watching. I will see you in next video.